Hello cybersecurity professionals, hope everybody is having a lovely day. Today's topic of discussion is going to be another interesting one which is most us in cybersecurity interviews, that is uh, the difference between HTTP, HTTPS or also the difference between TLS and SSL. Let's go ahead and study them. So HTTP for an abbreviation stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and HTTPS is the secure version of Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Hence in HTTPS you have your plain text plus a layer of security added to it which makes the communication secure. Now TLS stands for Transport Layer Security and SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. Keep in mind that these two are used interchangeably. Sometimes uh, you would either use TLS or SSL but they both mean the same. It's just that the SSL is an older version and the TLS is the newer version as uh, the security has evolved and the version is version 1.3 of TLS where we are in right now the, that's the latest and most secure that we know of. now let us understand the difference between HTTP and HTTPS beginning with the first one that is HTTP so with HTTP when a user tries to connect within a web server the connection is is in plain text which means if there is a man in the middle attack that's going on the entire session is unsecured and all the contents of the traffic can be seen in plain text but as we have studied earlier in HTTPS when a user or the client tries to connect to a web server the entire connection is encrypted using the PKI which is secure socket layer or TLS uh, the session is encrypted and all the information is scrambled which can only be decrypted at the other end using the public key encryption. I've made a separate video on how encryption and hashing works. You might want to check that out in the cards at the corner. Now how would you know if you're connecting when you're connecting to a server say for example on your web browser that it's a secure connection? Well uh, it mostly has to do with Google because Google nowadays would alert you if a website that you're visiting is unsecured. So what you would see is a little padlock icon that appears just before the uniform resource locator or the URL. This signature, this symbol means that a session key has been negotiated using the public key infrastructure and the connection is now secured using a symmetric key. Now the video wouldn't be complete if I do not distinguish between HTTP and HTTPS and this table is should help you understand just that. Beginning with the security aspects of the differentiation between HTTP and HTTPS. HTTP of course as you might already know by now it is less secure as the data is vulnerable to hackers and it is transferred in plain text. HTTPS it is designed to prevent hackers or attackers from accessing your critical information and it is secure against such attacks. Port. HTTP uses port 80 by default HTTPS uses port 443 users HTTP it's a good fit for websites designed for information consum consumption like blogs or publicly inf available information that does not contain any sensitive information. HTTPS on the other hand if the website needs to collect private information like credit card uh, then it is more than HTTPS is a more secure protocol that should be used. Domain name validation. HTTP website does not need any SSL or TLS. HTTPS requires an SSL or certificate that needs to be verified speed of course HTTP since there is no encryption taking place so the machine doesn't have to take the encryption and decryption load so hence it's fast HTTPS of course encryption decryption is happening at this layer so it's a bit slower but for the general user it wouldn't matter because they would not see much of a difference when a session key is being negotiated to encrypt the entire session vulnerability 
most important. HTTP, obviously, since it's carried out in plain text, it is vulnerable to hackers. HTTPS is highly secure as the data is encrypted and before it is seen across the network. I hope I was able to explain the difference between HTTP, HTTPS and how it is secured using TLS and SSL keys. Now, just an information is good enough to get you started, but I highly recommend you dig deeper using the links that I'll go ahead and give below. Take your time to go through the links, study what it wants to say, and it is important that you also understand the concept of public key infrastructure and digital certificates. I hope this video is helpful. If you want to contact me for any kind of cybersecurity related coaching sessions, I'll leave my contact email down below. Feel free to contact. And at the very least, share this video with your family and friends whom you think would benefit from this video. Alright, that was about the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. I wish you all the very best. Have a great day ahead. Bye now.